open scap. We've covered open scap in the past. Haven't we done whole episodes on open scap? We did two full episodes on open scap. The actual command, if you're keeping track, is O scap, right? And it comes from the scap security guide and I think scap tools. Scap security guide in installs everything you need to go with it. But it lets you apply security policies to a system or scan for and then apply, I should say. And that's exactly what we covered in these other two episodes. So in the notes, we're going to include links to those episodes. So if you want to go watch them, but basically if you, if you need to adhere to certain compliance policies, it's exactly what OpenSCAP is there for. Things like DSS STIG, the CIS benchmarks. We've talked about these PCI DSS, right? There's policies existing in that SCAP security guide for all of those. You can scan your system and see how compliant you are. You can even have it go and remediate a good number of those things that would have tagged you or would have failed you in the past, right? So just keep that in mind. Open scap's good stuff. Our good friend Jay Scar helped us out on those episodes. Good yeah. stuff. I know you guys covered Disastig, which is interesting for public sector folks. And you guys also covered CIS Benchmark. CIS Benchmark is the Center for Internet Security Benchmark. There's a couple mm -hmm. different options. But if you're just getting into like, how do I make sure my machines are on a good security footing? That's a really good one to start off with. Uh, there's also the Australian Essential 8. And ANSI is the French government regulatory one. That's also pretty good from a, like, these are basic good security policies that you want to follow. Any of those, even if you're not in a public sector space, they're excellent first blush. I would like to make sure my machines are on a good security footing standards to try and comply with. Yeah, I mean, security, just like a baseline security is good for anybody, right? You don't have to be a government agency to care about security. So maybe you don't want to apply disastig to your web server, but applying something like CIS level one or level two, probably a good starting point.